Hello, I'm Meng Di Wang. I'm on the strategy team in Lenovo's global supply chain. And today on this video, I'll be chatting with my colleagues Golden Xing and Dustin Diu in Lenovo's supply chain and global logistics to understand how we can lower our supply chain emissions on our journey to net zero. Hi, Golden. Can you share some of the reasons that um, emissions from logistics are difficult to measure? Scope 3 emissions are our largest emission category, and upstream transportation is one of the top three from it. It covers pickup from the plant until delivery to our end customer globally. The difficulties of measuring it now is coming from three areas. Number one, define the scope inbound versus outbound. Number two, gather necessary data and required data elements. Number three, data quality. Make sure we calculate and tracking are correct and accurate. Thanks for the explanations. So what do you see as the biggest opportunities or lowest hanging fruits for us to reduce our supply chain emissions? And how does reducing scope three emissions impact our vision to achieve net zero by 2050? That's a very good question. Overall ESG strategy for Lenovo is to improve operations, engagement, become a champion for ESG commitment by changing the cultural mindset and prioritizing sustainability. For example, in 2022, Lenovo joined the CDP supply chain program and started to request Lenovo's key suppliers to disclose climate change related information to Lenovo through the CDP platform. It's another milestone for Lenovo to cascade it, uh, sustainability and ambitions and actions along with the supply chain to take joint efforts with its suppliers to achieve net zero. Lenovo would like to use our experience and influence to drive more actions from our suppliers. We understand that suppliers are on different stages of their climate action journey. And we want to collaborate with them to make improvements and move towards a more sustainable future. The biggest opportunity here comes from modal transportation. If you look at our current emission number, more than 90% are from air freight. We fly a lot because of customer demand or supply constraints. We are trying to build a digital platform where we can allow our customers to review or have a real-time visibility on emissions against each of the shipments when they place orders. So when they compare different emission numbers, generated by different modes of transportation, we will possibly change our customers' behavior. I'm happy to see the culture of prioritizing sustainability at Lenovo and how we are cascading climate actions along the value chain. We all know that Lenovo is an innovative global technology powerhouse. Um, so what, what innovations do you see on the horizon that will help us to reduce scope three emissions? That's another very good question. Some of the innovations that we're looking at, we're partnering with, for example, Maersk Eco Delivery Solutions for ocean freight shipments of PCs, smart devices, and infrastructure products from manufacturing locations in China to APAC in Europe. We also collaborate with DB Schenker and Lufthansa Cargo to fly 20 tons of our products per week using flights fueled by sustainable aviation fuels. We are also one of the founding members for Smart Freight Alliance. China, which aims to drive more collaboration within the industry, explore sustainable operation solutions. We call it Champion China program. This is leveraging our influence in China, create alliance uh, and collaborate to enhance our sustainable logistics and share best practice. It is great that we are leveraging the power of partnership and collaboration to achieve our mutual climate targets. And are there any near-term strategies um, that Lenovo is setting up to reduce scope three emissions? Uh, yes, in the near term, we're requesting suppliers to report climate change related information through CDP, as I mentioned before. We'll set them up to take actions, track and benchmark their progress in emission reduction initiatives. Also, Lenovo is going to kick off the Supplier Emission Mitigation Program to drive suppliers to reduce emissions by setting science-based targets, procuring renewable energies, and implementing energy efficiency measures. We have set our science-based target three years ago, which is to achieve 25% intensity reduction in 10 years by year 2030. 
Apart from supplier engagement and global logistics, I, I understand that Lenovo is also working to improve the ESG performance of its factories. And there's a new factory in Hungary. So what are its measures to help reduce emissions there? Yes, our new facility in Hungary is very exciting. It's Lenovo's first in-house manufacturing facility in Europe. And we developed it with a new purpose and our manufacturing center has been fitted with solar panels and a capacity of 0.5 megawatts, which is enough energy to power the equivalent of a small village. Hungary is well-connected location, uh, puts us much closer to our European customers. And that, that building devices locally also dramatically reduces uh, the freight miles required to deliver these products to our customers. This also provides a more efficient and sustainable transportation options. Thanks for our insights, Golden and Dustin. It's a pleasure to be on Lenovo's journey to net zero together. Please look for updates on our journey to net zero on Lenovo's Story Hub and our ESG report.